Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> I thought I've already gotten hooked, man. This is why I sent Eugene with you, not me. I thought I was getting Eugene this morning again, God. but thank you. Thank goodness it's just cameraman Ron. He's Ryan. definitely still here. He's in the backyard in a tent. We want to give a big shout out to Okaloosa Island Pier because what Ron is filling out right there are our season's passes. They were nice enough to give us season passes to the pier. Is this a joke? I thought you said they were doing these to be nice to us. They, they are, dude. dude they gave they're asking for my weight on here. That's... Well, you got to put your, what is it? I don't know, like 190. We got one goal today out here on the pier, y'all. We got to hook a tarpon. I've thrown at a bunch of them. We got to hook one. There's definitely fish in here feeding. All right, we got a live bait out. Let's see if we can make it happen. Where? Was it? Yeah. Guys, there's big tarpon blowing up in these baits right here. All over. And I've got a live. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's him. That's him. Come on. Come on. That's him. There he is. Jump, baby. Jump. Come on. Dude, he's going to spool me. I can't. Look at this. This is, I don't know, dude. I'm trying to slow him down and I can't. He's all the way up on the beach. This dude's gonna spool me. I'm literally gonna get spooled first thing in the morning. Come on, baby. This sucker's gonna, oh, he jumped, he just jumped. Big tarpon, big tarpon. Oh, he came off. He just broke me off, or hook pulled. He jumped and hook pulled. Oh my God. <sighs> Look at this, guys. He literally almost spooled me right here. First bait in the water this morning. Let me make sure he didn't break my line. No, I think the hook just pulled. Hurry, hurry, catch an Elwha. Yeah, man, the hook just pulled. Look at that, guys. We just had a pulled hook. Tarpon jumped and pulled the hook, man. Can't believe it. First bait in the water. Big tarpon. I mean, I hooked, I had all I wanted out of him, but it just he just came unbuttoned. That was awesome, though. He, he did, you know what he didn't do is jump right here, which they usually do. He jumped way out there. We got another bait going here. All right, bait number two. Believe that? First bait out crazy man crazy crazy I just hooked a big one call it when you think he's ready good stick thank you sir thank you. jump jump there he is oh that's a big one there we go. That's him. Oh, he's jumping again. We'll see. We'll see. Come back this way. Yeah, I got a gap play. Go under it. Yeah, 
you're good. You're good. We're getting close. This is the longest I've had one on yet. Okay, so I got three jobs. I mean, maybe I'll let you know if he starts to come up. Fish right here. I want to beat He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Come on. Oh, I thought he was going to jump. He's at. He's going back. He's going back. He's going back. He's gone. There he goes. Nice. Perfect size for catch right there. Come on. There he is. Don't go under the pier. Get his head up. Oh, come on. Heads up. Heads up. Heads up. Heads up. Coming down. Coming down. Okay, guys, that's a caught fish. Man, that's we got him belly one. up on the pier. Oh, wow. You got him? Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to pause the video real quick and explain to you what's going on with this tarpon, the pier rules involving tarpon. Okay, first pier rule is you have to pop them off when they get to the pier. That is perfectly fine. We fight these fish with heavy equipment. We get them in in 10 minutes. They're not overly exhausted. That leader rusts out in a week. These fish are fine. And every, like that whole everybody up and down the entire panhandle targets these tarpon on the pier. Now, if it is calm enough, you can also take them. That's the key word. Yeah. Calm if it's enough. calm enough, you can take them to the beach. Now, yesterday, we've got a tropical storm in the Gulf. The seas, you, you might, might not can tell, but there were surfers everywhere. The seas were five to six foot. It was just really tough. We tried to beach him. And we, that's what I was going to say. And we still tried to beach him. We like, still tried to beach him. another guy like, like, was in the mm -hmm. water. I got to a point where I'm... The, the fish was a, considered a caught fish because at Okaloosa, if you get him up out of the water and control your fish, he's a caught fish. But I, we, I tried to walk him to the beach and the current was pushing him so fast under the pier that it, I just couldn't do anything with it. It ended up rubbing against the pylon and breaking my line. Here's the thing about it. it, it like there were so many sensitive people on Facebook about this target. You, you ruffled some feathers, man. And there are thousands and thousands of tarpon. They are not an endangered species. They're everywhere because there's never been a season on them. This, Mellow so. out a little bit, folks. Mellow out. We, we've got some candy we got in the mail that can help with them. We do. That if they, they we do absolutely that, so. do. So let's get back to the video. All right, guys. Ron's on the beach down here. And I'm all, uh, we're going to try to get this fish to the beach. We can. Come on. I see Brant right there. One, two, three fourth light post he broke me off there was too much current hey guys y'all check out ron in the water down there he was going he was ready for me the problem was it it's really too rough to beach one right now as you see all the surfers out there like we were gonna give it heck trying uh, though well he got like i had him belly up oh like, yeah, it he was, caught it was, that was a successful morning at the pier. I don't think they understand how hard we worked. You, you mean, know, it was almost like we kept hitting it wrong. Yeah. Every, it would be like they slammed the tarpon, we'd go the next day and it would be an awful day. Yeah. We have fan mail to open up. Let's get rolling. Well, let's do it. I do know that there's one piece of fan mail specifically for you. To Brant. There's that no does. CMR yeah, yeah. on So it does say to Brant. Let me see the scissors. Let's go. What if Eugene starts getting fan mail? No, please do not send Eugene fan mail. Send Eugene fan Don't, mail. No. Yes! Please be something bad. Please be an omelet. Come on! Please be an omelet. It is an MRE. Please be an omelet. Ooh, that might be just as bad, dude. Tuna chunk light, lemon pepper tuna. We'll get to that later. <laughs> 
Who's this from? It's on the other side. Still doesn't say. I want to thank this person personally. By the way, I don't like you. This one's to both of us. Oh, oh, is this like, oh, this is one of those trick things where we open oh, an envelope yeah. and then there's another envelope. It's like one of those Chinese dolls. I mean, I don't know that they're necessarily Chinese. Japanese dolls. Japanese. The Japanese. That's what I was thinking. I got a feeling this isn't going to be good for either. Wait, hold on. I know. This has it, already been opened. And it looks hot. And yeah. on the outskirts, it looks like chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. Eat one then. Chocolate covered hazelnut. Where's the catch here? There's no way somebody sent us something nice. It's good. It's not hot. I thought it was going to be hot. Or Did somebody really just send us I think us somebody something? was just being nice to us. There's no... Do you see the shock on our face? That's because of you all. Of all the crap you've put us through. Look. Oh, THC chocolate. Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like this is a joke. I'm I know. One. I'm not eating one. I'd be lying to say I'm not concerned. Maybe it's like healthy. All right, so I if you sent this to us, send it, send it, make a comment down below. This is more concerning than anything we've got. I know. Is, is it that bad? This is like weird. Somebody straight up sent us I'm not eating nice. one of those. This one is to uh, Brent and Ron. Okay. You scare me so bad with scissors. Definitely edible. Ron, this one's for you, buddy. No, I've said both of them. Pork rinds. You love pork oh, rinds, too. No, 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 dude. I know what this is. I know what this is. Dude, these are like, you know, like pop microwave popcorn? Right. Microwave pork rinds. This is from Chris Levin. See, guys? This is exactly what you do. You just put on the receipt that's your name. One more. Oh, that's a big bug. But this one's just for me. In a way, you're going to have to open that with me back here. <laughs> but I got a trophy. Ron got a trophy! <laughs> Guys, check this out. Is it is it zoomed? Cameraman Ron, 2021 World Champion Shark Tosser. When in doubt, just yeet it, baby. Let's roll that clip. Are you for real? Yeah. That's your first beat shark. Go ahead and release him, drag him back into the water. No, 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 no. You walking back. If ever there was a trophy that was deserved, this is it. <laughs> right? I mean, I mean, that's... I haven't what? gotten a trophy in a long time. I don't know that I've ever gotten a trophy. Because, like, when I was a kid, I sucked at sports, and they didn't give everybody a trophy back then. I and understand. I never got one. You should have been born in the 90s. You'd have got a trophy. I'd have got a trophy, got a trophy, no, trophy no matter what. No matter what. All right, so I was born in the, in the 80s. Do you know when I started playing Little League Baseball, in the 80s that they did not give it they only gave trophies to the mvps the people that that played well then in the 90s as i got older they started giving the whole team trophies. I, I have a feeling if your dad saw you get a trophy for failing he'd probably destroy it oh yeah like i can totally see mr peter doing that if i like <laughs> if i sucked it up and they gave me a trophy he would use it for throw, a, it, he, throw he, it in the trash that or he'd use it for a, a, an anchor for the boat yeah. let's try some pork rinds though man. okay let's do it these are like little bags of popcorn aren't they <laughs> dude you don't seem to be too worried about that cho chocolate you're scarfing it down i mean it's actually pretty good <laughs> i think you should try one i don't trust it yet chocolate. i'm gonna wait like an hour before i eat one look at that it did it, well, it, I didn't know it was pork rinds. I think it was popcorn. That's pretty good. But they're good. Because they're hot. I like those a lot. Yeah, I ain't mad about that at all. Those man. are addicting. Hey, pork man. rinds aren't that bad for No, me. actually, pork rinds are my go-to snack. Well, guys, as always... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. What? No, we're done. No, we're not. Yeah. Man. We appreciate... We are far from done. We're, we're done. Eating. We're no. done. We're sending that to Beach Bum. No, you're eating this. We're I'll buy you one of these to send to Beach Bum, but you're eating this one. What are you doing? Wait, you're looking for the candy, aren't you? Yeah, that's exactly what you... It is the candy, and it's in my pocket now. Oh, gross. Mayonnaise in a packet. So there's your tortillas, your orange drink. Don't eat the candy first. I seriously want that. I know you guys can't read this because of the lights, but this was packaged in June of 2018. I ain't having it. This is barbecue toasted corn kernels. What is this? Is this like a discus? It's like... <laughs> there's mold on it. That's not mold. That's there's grain. A, there's mold on it. That's, that's grain. That, that's that is mold. grain. <laughs> Oh, it's like corn nuts. These are good. Awesome, the fat, low fat free mayonnaise. They put it in there. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, that, that's the cheese spread. Yeah, you don't like the cheese spread, though. You uh, to be honest. Oh, there's. <laughs> yeah. You gotta mix the mayonnaise out. in there. That mayonnaise is gross looking, dude. It's old and it's gross. What are you doing? The cheese spread is really good in these things. You want some cheese in there? No, no, I don't. Thank you so much for this. Whoever sent this, thank you. But, like, whatever, man. <clears throat> It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Tuna by itself is not that bad. The mayonnaise, suspect. Three years old. The At mayonnaise least. is three years old. That's suspect. Yeah. The pork rinds were the best thing yeah, that we've man. ever gotten. Man, I'm just glad that you got sent the bad food this time. 
and not me. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty well, excited about that. So I think y'all need to send Ron something. If you want to send something to our P.O. box, link will be in the description below. We greatly appreciate you watching these videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go hit the subscribe button. Only 30% of the viewers that watch these videos are subscribed to the channel. If you like that video, go ahead and shoot us a big thumbs up. We'll catch you next time.